Our first speaker is Omar Noor. He is a triathlete. Um, he has a fantastic uh, story that he's going to be sharing with you guys. And uh, his talk is titled Living with Passion. So please help me welcome Omar Noor onto the stage. Hi, everyone. How's everyone doing? Come on, guys. More energy. Give me more energy. How's everyone doing? All right, that's what I'm talking about. All right, so my name is Omar Noor, and I'm the very first Egyptian professional triathlete, and I'm gunning to be the first Egyptian triathlete to go to the Olympic Games. But my story is an unusual one, and I want to share it with you. They only gave me eight minutes. I usually have 40 minutes, right? So listen up, because I'm going to be talking very quickly. Born in Egypt, raised in Switzerland, moved to the United States. That's where I finished my education. I wanted to be an ear, nose, and throat surgeon. Why? My uncle was a doctor. He's an ear, nose, and throat surgeon. I want to be an ear, nose, and throat surgeon. Very subjective. I studied really hard. Went, went to, to the far ends to try to make my dream come true. Got accepted to the Johns Hopkins University, widely known as one of the best medical programs in the world. Studied, did really well, triple, ma triple majored in college, finished that, and literally decided, you know what? I want to take some time off. Now, Arab parents in general, you have three options. You can be a doctor, a lawyer, or, or an engineer. That's it. Anything else, you're a failure, right? So I come in and I say, here's their son, their, 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 their doctor, right? And says, ah, I want to I wanna find myself. I want to spend some time to find myself. Thankfully, my parents were really cool. They didn't get the guillotine out. And they said, go ahead, find yourself. Find what, you, what, what your true passion is. And I'm so grateful that they, they did that because my life changed 180 degrees. In my 20s, I decided I want to be a businessman. That's what I want to do. I want to be a businessman. So we started businesses. And my entire 20s was just spent starting businesses, failing, restarting, starting something else, failing, working out, sort of working out, etc. Until the very last business that I started with my brother. My brother and I are very, very close. We're best friends. We do everything together, right? We started and we took a lot of, a lot of risk. We took all the equity out of our condo. Okay, and, and we lived in Washington, D.C. to start our business. It was $100,000 to start our business. Do or die. We make it, we owe it to each other. We fail, we're jobless and homeless. So the stress is really high, right? Next thing you know, you don't have time to work out. You don't have time for healthy living. You caffeinate up all the time. Unhealthy habits, not sleeping, because you know, we're doing everything ourselves. Google was actually our best friend, like how to wire an office, Google, right? Well, we're not gonna hire anybody. We did everything ourselves. So next thing you know, boof, I start to get heavier and heavier and heavier. I'm 105 kilos and I'm 29 years old. Okay, 105 kilos, 29 years old. I'm wearing my suit, I'm looking all dapper, I'm walking to my car. As I, as I open my car, I bent over and I hear crrrk. What is that? The suit pants rip at the bottom, my underwear is out in the wind, and it doesn't happen to me once. Go ahead, laugh, it's fine, I'm over it. It, <laughs> it doesn't happen to me once, it happens to me twice. So the second time, I'm like, this cannot be, like, this is not the right lifestyle. I have to change something about my life. I go to my brother and I say, look, Habibi, we need to do something. What, you know, what? He's like, oh, we thought now we had like a, a huge company. We had 20 employees. We thought we were Google. He's like, oh, it's, it's a huge company now. Go, go find something to do. I'm like, okay, all right, all right. I go out there and a buddy of mine says to me, oh, there's a triathlon. 29 years old. I'm like, what is a triathlon? He's like, you swim a kilometer and a half, you bike 40 kilometers, you run 10 kilometers. In my mind, it's like, this is the most ridiculous thing ever. Why would I ever do that? Like, is somebody chasing you? Like, what's the purpose of this? And he's like, no, this is for healthy living. This is amazing. This is a lifestyle. It's going to change everything about you. I'm like, all right, whatever. Just sign me up. He's like, but you're fat. I'm like, just sign me up. I'll figure it out, right? He's like, did you, you own a bicycle? I'm like, no. He's like, when is the last time you, you cycled? I'm like, I wouldn't call it cycling. I was 13 years old. It was a BMX. He's like, all right, dude, you know, and he signed me up. One thing led to another, I started to train. And as you start to embrace this healthy lifestyle, what happens? Endorphins start kicking up in your systems, you start to feel happy, boom, start to lose weight, fitting in my clothes, life is starting to feel good, right? I go do my first triathlon, and one of the things that is amazing about sports is it opens up your world to also great friendships, right? Because you are who you surround yourself with. And, and one of the people that I met was actually the mayor of Washington, D.C. And I just wanted to know if I beat him or not. So I went up to him and I said, excuse me, Mr. Mayor, I just want to know, what was your time? He's like, 2.21. I was like, wow, impressive. I shake his hand, I start to walk away. He's like, hold on, what was your time? And I go, 2.18, and I smile. He's like, here's my card. I want to I wanna, I wanna train with you. I'm thinking, this is a politician in the middle of a crowd. He doesn't care. He's not going to do anything about it. Sure enough, he calls me up, and I start to train with the mayor. 
over the next three, four years, we're best friends. Every time we go out to, to train, we have police escort. It stopped being about health or anything. It was like, this is amazing, right? Every time Adrian calls, I drop everything and I go, right? And my brother's like, Habibi, what, what's going on? You know, here I have, we started this company together and now I'm working and you're working out. I'm like, I'm doing business development. I'm cycling with the mayor. He's like, oh. He's like all right, dude, you have six months. You don't close a deal, we talk. Six months go by, I don't close a deal. He says, okay, you have two options. Option one, keep this a hobby. Come back to me. I need you here. Run the company with me. Option two, I will run the company for the two of us. But if I do this, I want you to take it to the top. I'm like, what does that mean? He's like, two things. One, make money doing this. You're 30 years old now. You got to figure it out. Two, take it to the top. I'm like, what's the top? He's like, Olympic Games. Ignorance is bliss. One of my favorite quotes is, no one told them they couldn't do it, so they went ahead and did it. I said, oh, option B, yalla, we go option B. I have no idea what it would have taken. And this is when the naysayers came out, right? Like, what are you, crazy? You're 30 years old, you're gonna leave a company, a successful company that you could potentially be like, your retirement and this to go, what, swim, bike, run? And you think you can make it to the Olympics? You can, people train since they were three years old, but I didn't listen to the noise, right? There will always be naysayers. I sort of blocked that noise and I started. I dove head first and I tried to make it to London 2012. And that was literally age 29, I discovered triathlon. Age 31, I turned pro. 33, I would be going to London. But that didn't happen, right? I missed London, <laughs> okay? I missed London, and a lot of people were like, oh my God, this is gonna break him. Like, this is the end. This is, what is he gonna do now? He's 33 years old. I was like, no, no. I realized all of a sudden it wasn't about the destination, it was about the journey. Somewhere along the way, it became about the journey, the people I met, the lifestyle, the things, that the destination is just the cherry on top of the cake, right? So I decided, you know what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to Rio 2016. So now Rio 2016 is, 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 is my, my new thing. I'm gonna be 37 years old. I started to train super hard. And my new passion, my thing that I discovered is I came here to the UAE and I, was, I went to the, do a triathlon and I spoke, I love to speak. Um, so I spoke to some kids before their triathlon. And one of the kids, um, you know, I just thought I was wasting time for 20 minutes. Went to shower. After I came back to, out of the shower, I found on my Facebook fan page that the kid who won dedicated the win back to me. And that changed everything. That made me realize I need to share my story. You know, sharing the story because it's so much more powerful. 20 minutes, okay, did more than me winning that race, right? Like, in, in the potential thing. So that's it. My new thing now is I'm 100% focused on Rio 2016, right? Focusing on that and focusing on sharing my story to get as many people as possible to sort of do this. There's a health and wellness aspect of it. We go to corporate, uh, corp uh, to companies and teach them how to be healthy. We go to schools. I spend a lot of time going to schools because that's something that I'm passionate about, to see people's lives change early age. Anyways, um, I think I'm getting the hook. I'll see you guys all uh, Rio 2016, turn on your TVs, or maybe you guys can come and uh, see me live. Thanks.